How did the Vikings navigate? Long before a compass or naval maps were used in Europe, the Vikings set about sailing the high seas from modern-day Canada to Constantinople. Their famous longship ferried them across a meandering rivers, stormy seas and expansive oceans, making them skilled sailors. Yet, without the aid of sophisticated naval technology, how did the Viking navigate across such vast distance? The Viking's skillful exploration of nautical technology enabled them to raid, trade and colonize throughout the Western Hemisphere and into North Africa and West Asia. In an era before a compass had arrived in Europe, before maps were widespread and satellite navigation was a millennium away. The Vikings sailed vast distance between northern and southern Europe throughout the Mediterranean Sea. Through the vast and numerous river systems of Eastern Europe and the Russian steppe and across the North Atlantic Ocean. They did, however, have some rudimentary navigational knowledge. The knowledge of direction, north, south, east and west, came from the daily cycle of the sun. Yet, the principle underpinning much of the navigational skill was the exact location on the horizon where the sun rose and how high it reached during the day. Sailors from the Viking society also used other natural landmarks when taking to the high sea the sun, the moon and the stars also provided an understanding of the direction to travel. Hugging coastal areas and looking for specific landmarks, rocks, bays or a hilltop could add navigation. A new and emerging theory in new studies is that the Viking sailor used chunks of crystal, called sunstones, to track the sun on a cloudy day. The use of a crystal to find the sun on a cloudy day relied on the polarization of the sun. This means that the light had a specific orientation. When the sunlight travels through the atmosphere, it forms a polarized ring. The ring are only visible for animals and fish as the human eye is unable to detect them. However, with the use of crystals like calcite, the direction of polarization even on a cloudy day can be revealed. When the sunstone is at its brightest, the crystal will point at the sun, allowing some form of rudimentary navigation, even on a grey, wet and miserable foggy day in the North Sea. Vikings also used their other senses, listening for birds and the crashing of waves on the shore was one other way to figure out how close they were to land on a foggy day. The direction of sea breezes could also be used to navigate, 
as well as to determine whether any fresh water from the land had floated around them. Finally, an experienced sailor can smell sign of land life, fires, trees or even some plants giving the suitable conditions. Animals were also helpful friends when it came to maritime navigation. Spotting certain birds meant land was near as a particular breed only flew close to the shore. Whales usually stay close to currents where plentiful of fish could be found. The Vikings knew of the immigration habits of many whales and could use this to help find particular areas of oceans or seas. Viking sailors masterfully employed all these knowledge, skills and expertise, rather they were raiding, trading or exploring the ocean around the Scandinavian, Pennsylvania or beyond. Surely they raid as some of the medieval area's best maritime navigationers. After all, they did discover America half a millennium before Columbus. Thank you for watching this episode. Your support means the world to me. Please give my page a follow to keep up with my latest post and don't forget to hit that like button and share my contents with your friends and family. Thank you for being a part of my journey.